surprise who is she so i have a haul today i'm so excited about it as you can see sparkles feathers the works um i've just been recovering from coming back from san diego and working a lot also i know i'm gonna sweat so i came prepared for that sweaty mustache but anyways like i said Fashion Nova haul. I tried on everything yesterday. I am so jazzed to show you just everything costumey and fun, but a few basics thrown in there too. I have to wear real clothes sometimes, but we'll get started. So I didn't do this on purpose, but I do think a lot of these things fit Taylor Swift eras. I know like leg one of the tour just ended, but if you have tickets for leg two, these could be options. Also, as we're watching, write in the comments what era you think each thing is for. I'm gonna say it out loud, but like, try and beat me to it. So, we'll start with my favorite thing. So this is a two-piece set, hot pink sequins, and the skirt has feathers! This is so cute. Um, I got this in a 2X. Honestly, could've went down to a one, but with sequins, I never know if there's gonna be stretch, but there is stretch in the skirt, so you're good here. The base of this skirt is a velvet fabric, so I wanted to wear this to the Jonas Brothers last week, but it was way too hot to be wearing like a thick velvet and then sequins. You know, sequins are already heavy, um, so unfortunately could not wear this, but like this is gonna get worn. So on its own, super cute, but then that feather lining on the skirt just takes it up another level, so also very Barbie core. I know the movie already came out, but like I'm never gonna stop dressing in hot pink. I've been doing that for years. It's a lifestyle at this point. So Barbie core, Taylor Swift core, super girly, super fun. Like this is right up my alley. So since I couldn't wear it to a concert, I do think it is fabulous resort wear, cruise ship wear. Like if you wear this on a cruise, you're gonna be the most popular girl on the ship. And that's what I intend on doing. But yeah, 2X super stretchy. I have gained about 10 pounds and it's really taken a toll on my brain, but like, again, I could have went down, but a lot of that weight is sitting on my lower pooch and I felt totally comfortable in this. So it does come with a matching crop top. I usually, when I film, I have that like green sparkly filming top. This is that sister. So nice to have it in hot pink as well. So a longer crop, these meet. You don't have to show any skin with this crop set if you don't want to. Also has the velvet base, so a little too warm for August. My mustache is already sweating. Uh. So this is more of a boxy cut, which I like. Hang off me a little bit. Um, so obviously you can wear these together but i also paired this with a black high-waisted pants it looks so cute you could do this with like a black skirt jeans this with a bodysuit or like a white crop top that would be so cute or like a corset top with this so cute so lots of possibilities and if you're guessing the taylor swift era 1989 baby all right this next item is another favorite i put it on i did not want to take it off um, as you know, I go to an adult summer camp and one of our themes for Labor Day is red carpet glam. And I already have another Fashion Nova dress, the pink feather ensemble from the cruise in January. It's on my Instagram. Um, and I was planning on wearing that. I put this on and I was like, I think I might need to do a midnight outfit change. Like I can't not wear this to a glam party. So I'm gonna bring a few options and see how I'm feeling, but like both are amazing options. So Fashion Nova always has you covered in one glam and two costume parties. So it is a gold fringe and sequined dress. It does have spaghetti strap, but I wore a regular nude bra with it and it like meshed in, not meshed in, blended in. Um, and if I, you know, searched around for a better bra, like it would really go together. But I felt covered not once did I have to go like hmm, fix myself, not once. Also it has a zip in the back, but I just stepped right in. I got this in a 2X as well. Um, so there is tiers of the fringe. So like you can shake, it's gonna look so good. So this will also make you very popular on the dance floor. So I'm very excited to wear this. Also long enough, which I'm so happy about because I feel like I do have a lot of dresses where I'm constantly like my hole isn't out right like i am constantly fixing myself this like probably right above the knee also the fact that there's fringe covers up any area like i said my lower stomach is definitely protruding a lot more these days than it has in the past because of the fringe any tightness i guess that the base of the dress would give me it's covered by the fringe and also i'll be shimmying so no one's gonna notice so 
I love this dress. I need more excuses to wear it. So I'm gonna bring it to camp, but I think I'm gonna plan a cruise solely around this dress. All right, now pause this video and let me know what Taylor Swift era this is. I'll give you five seconds. Speak now! This is the Sparks Fly dress. Let's get real. So, super cute, super comfy, star of the show energy. Okay, this one's a little bit more basic, and by basic, I mean a see-through top. But, um, you know, at, compared to those two, we're being a little bit more demure right here. So this was yet another option for the Jonas Brothers, but I was so sweaty that I was like, I can't change one more time, but I did bring it to my friend's house, but I just never ended up changing into it. This is like the dress of my dreams. This will get worn so much. So this is what I keep trying to emulate when I'm buying all those black skirts, which I still have like four more in my cart from various other places. I'm gonna keep going till I get the one. Um, like a black asymmetrical skirt and a fun mesh top, but it's all connected. Also, it's a romper, so I have the protection between my thighs, but then the front is an envelope skirt, so you're not looking at my crotch. It's the perfect dress. The zipper was actually pretty easy. Because it's a romper, you can't just pop this on over your head, so unzip, step in, and I was able to zip it on my own. I feel like I need to say that because there's some single girls like me who have to like really finagle things. You can get in here on your own, and the mesh is very stretchy, so you know, you can do it. So the top is mesh and it has a panel to cover your boobs. I wore a black bra, woo, it always washes me out when I have black. Um, wore a black bra, obviously for a little more coverage. I need, I need to be held up. Um, I will say this panel for the top, um, maybe covers my areola. So it was good that I wore my own bra and the bra was sticking out above and below, but it's all black. So it's all going to look as one. Um, so if you have smaller boobs, you can definitely just have that panel hold you or, you know, do a strapless situation, but also wearing a black bra with this totally fits in. So I just have to say, um, with someone with big boobs, like that is not gonna cover much. So the black bra I was showing, but it's all good. And then it has the asymmetrical cut. That's what I've been looking for over shorts, but it looks like a skirt in the front. Super cute. I love this. Like so versatile. And this was also in a 2X. Okay. Taking another turn. We're going to go athleisure right now, but still Barbie core. So this is an athleisure set, a bike short and sports bra. Um, these, let's guess a 2X, 1X. Okay. Um, so these are in a 1X. This has the um, crossover little V effect, although on someone with like stomach like me, it is like fighting for its life. Um, but there is that little V effect. I just love the color scheme on this. Hot pink, orange, white, very creamsicle, very summer, very Barbie. Um, so these are a great fit. I love the fabric that Fashion Nova uses for their activewear. I am a pro at activewear that literally used to be my job was a fit model for activewear and various companies. So I know good activewear when I feel it and I have a lot of fashion of activewear. Um, this is a brushed fabric, so it's very soft, like the buttery soft, um, but it's not gonna slide off of you. Like this has a great waistband, um, no pockets, but that's okay. This is definitely more of a take a pick in the gym kind of outfit or like a Zumba outfit. So I will say this is not the most opaque, but if you wear, I wear gray, like light gray underwear with these. If you wear like a light color, a pink or a nude, you will not see anything here. Um, I did try it out with black at first and I was like, mm, okay, now I know not to wear black, but a light color underwear with this, you'll be fine. But I feel like that's the case for most light colored, you know, active wear and then it comes with the bra I never know how to hold up something that's kind of like haltery um so again the same color scheme up top it looks so cute together this one will have more of an open back um it will crisscross but I felt very held in and super cute in this and again this one is also in the 1x okay so this is another set and this is a beach cover-up set this is so cute Admittedly, I haven't been swimming as much as I would have liked to this summer, but something like this is not gonna go out of style. Like I can use this for years and years to come. Also mixing and matching um, and definitely resort wear. Like this was made to wear in Cancun. So um, it's a crop top and pant set crocheted. So it's gonna be see-through, um, but it's gonna be breathable. So we'll start with the wide leg pant. Nothing was clinging. Nothing is worse than when you're wet and <laughs> You have to like get dressed and like something's touching you. Ugh. So nice, breathable, non-clingy, super stretchy waistband. 
wide leg pant. Um, I didn't think these were too long. Like these were the perfect length on me, especially if you wear them high waisted, you won't be dragging them through like pool or beach water. I got this set in a 2X just for that even more relaxed fit, but because it's so stretchy and wide, I think if you're a regular 1X, you can get a 1X. I also wore a bright orange Fashion Nova bathing suit under just to show you the contrast of how much you would see, you know, through the crochet holes. And then the top, this is cute. And honestly, I would wear this with like jeans. Like this will be a regular outfit piece for me, but also it's a great cover up beach day kind of top. Like I'm just imagining myself like after the beach, you're going to ice cream, pop this on with jean shorts. I wish I had jean shorts, um, but that's another all. Um, but like that is going to be so cute and comfy, nice and loose, but still summery and cute. But you can also transition this into fall. Oh, it's so cute. So again, this is a 2X, but a very boxy, wide fit, but so comfy, so cute. Okay, this one, I think I need to put on the hanger just for the visual. Hold on, did that work? Mm, eh, eh, okay, this I love. This is also another Jonas Brothers option, um, but Night one, I saw what all the girlies were wearing. So night two, you know, I had a different idea of what I was gonna wear. And I went for the red dress. The girlies know. If you know, you know. Bailey and Steph know. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a one shoulder romper, but the skirt part is so flowy and billowy. I wasn't too worried about like the crotch effect that I feel like most rompers give me. Um, yeah, that, that hanger did nothing. Anyways, one shoulder, but there's two straps on the right side. So you're gonna get a little peekaboo effect. Super cute. Um, it, it comes in at the waist. My stomach kind of swallowed that part, but like if you have a waist, it's gonna like come in, flow out very nicely. And there's like a little like belted part. So cute. Um, so again, this can also be dressed up, dressed down. Like I could totally see this as casual wear, but also if you wanna like go to the club, not something I would do. <laughs> this would also totally fly in like a Vegas club. And for me, I will be stunting on the retirees on a cruise ship with this. So for me, most things are cruise ship wear. So super cute, very comfy. And I wore uh, my regular bra. Um, so I had the strap on this side and I just tucked it in on this side. That's an option. If you make this strap very long, you can put it over here as well. I don't know if you can last all night like that, but that's another option. And then a strapless bra is also an option. I told you Barbie core isn't over and I already have like six Barbie shirts, but what's another one? So I saw this, it's like a stone wash. So like a little vintagey looking. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. There we go. Stone wash, so it's not completely black. And then just the Barbie logo. Um, I got this in a 2X. I should have gotten a three for like a really boxy, loose fit. So size up from your regular size if you want like a more relaxed fit. Um, but I plan on doing a little, you know, cutting this, making it across the shoulder, you know, some DIY with this great base. But like, again, I truly don't think Barbie and the merch and all that stuff is going to go out of style for a while. Like it is completely like revolutionized the culture. So even though the movie came out, I don't think I'm going to get looks for wearing something like this. In my wildest dreams, I want a shirt like this that says bitch in this font like that is my dream so maybe if i just like picked up photoshop i can like learn how to make that but yeah uh super cute barbie shirt i literally have so many of those now i was gonna say this was an unexpected favorite but i knew i would like this so this is a mesh bodysuit and i feel like that's been my go-to lately i do need a few more bottoms to you know pair them with but like i feel so cute and confident in a bodysuit so mesh super stretchy it has ruching on the sides. Um, this is like double layered, so the front isn't gonna be see-through, the back will be, so do with that what you may. I don't mind my bra showing. Um, I just felt really good and confident in this. Um, not so much of a cheeky cut on the bottom, like it's not a thong, but it's not full coverage on the butt. But in my old age, I wear underwear and then the bodysuit, so like nothing's going anywhere. So this I got in a 2X, could have went for the one because of the stretch, I did find, you know, around the arms, a little big, but like, who cares? So you definitely can go your regular size with this one. So I did visit my office when I was in San Diego and I feel like I don't have enough regular people clothes. Like everything I wear has sequins on it. Um, so I was like, okay, let me get like a basic black pair of pants. You can definitely do something like this. Um, 
These have amazing reviews on the Fashion Nova website, and these are almost perfect. I was so jazzed with everything else except for one thing, and I think that one thing really comes down to me. Um, anyways, so these are the Victoria High Waisted Dress Pants. I got these in a 1X stretchy waistband. It does zip in the back if you need that. These are the perfect length. I've tried um, other dress pants in the past and they're either like Urkel a little too above my ankle or they're dragging on the floor and you have to wear heels or you have to get it hemmed and who's getting anything hemmed these days? These were the perfect right below the ankle bone length. So you could wear flats with these or you could wear like a little inch like Chelsea boot. Also with like the trousers of today, I do feel like some are a little too baggy and billowy. I know that's the look, but I want more of a clean cut, especially if I'm gonna wear these to work. These from the knee down, and maybe even mid-thigh, but knee down, the perfect straight down cut. Nothing was collapsing, nothing was, you know, baggy or pooling. The perfect straight cut from the knee down. My issue came with um, what I call the smile crotch. These were so tight around my lower belly and crotch that like you could see everything. Um, so I think going forward, I'll probably get a 2X. Maybe you'll see if that alleviates some tightness down there. That sounded weird. Um, but literally other than the crotch, the perfect pant and again, stretchy like you put them on you don't have to think about it i do i'll keep these because i could probably wear like a longer top with them but i do definitely want to try these in the 2x to see if i'll get like the perfect fit but again i think that just comes down to me and like my recent weight gain and the fact that most of it went right there so we're almost there i'm almost at the perfect pant i'm just gonna try again next time you know when people are like you know you're wasting more energy doing that it's gonna make you sweat more no Stop, this feels really good. Next, I have three different sweatpant outfits. Um, so on brand for me. And then a very Taylor Swift dress for the finale. So we'll start with the first set. So these are all sweatshirts, like cropped sweatshirt, and then sweatshirt shorts. Shorts, <laughs> if you will, sets. Um, I'm not ready for real sweatpants yet as you can tell. So the first set is a ombre pink. Obviously it's going to be pink. Like I said, Barbie core is not going anywhere. And also I've been a pink girl forever. Um, so ombre pink, I got this in a 2X because I did want a little bit more room. Also I've gained weight. Um, so the 2X is a perfect fit for me. This is cropped, but not in a way that you're going to be pulling it. Like this is just going to meet the top of your pants. So a good length for me, especially lounging around the house. The inside is that perfect soft sweatshirt material. Um, and I just love the ombre pink. And this perfectly meets where the pants start. Um, like you could tell they were dyed together. So the 2X is the perfect sweatshirt for me. And then we got the sweatshirt shorts. Say that three times fast. Um, also in the 2X, stretchy, nice. And I wouldn't say loose, but it's also not skin tight because I have had pajama shorts that are a little loose. Um, and they just ride up when you're tossing and turning or just moving about. So these are the perfect amount of relaxed without being too baggy, but also not tight. So the Goldilocks of sweatshirt shorts. I, every time I say that, I'm like, that didn't come out right, but I think it did. Um, I'm gonna jump to the other ones because I got like pretty much the same set, but in a grayish blue tie dye. And this one I got the one X in and while it fits, I think the two X is the much better fit for me. So same set, different tie dye. Um, I love tie dye though. So like these are going to get worn and again, cropped, but not crazy cropped. Like you will be fine at the grocery store in this. Um, and again, super soft. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but I keep doing this. Very soft. I mainly noticed that these were a different fit when I put on the bottoms. Cause like I said, the weight went here and my chin. Um, but like I definitely noticed in the bottoms. Why is none of this fat going to my butt? Please explain that. But while not as great as a fit as the 2X, these are still wearable, still stretchy. I just noticed in like the crotch area, but these will definitely get worn around the house. Have no fear. I love a sweatpant. Okay, one more sweat set, but this one is a skirt and a top. So these aren't sweatshirt sweatshirt. Like they're not that kind of material, but um, definitely a thicker 
Um, they just don't have the insulation that a sweatshirt would. So um, it's same on the outside, but there's no fleece on the inside. It is a boxy long sleeve crop top and then a skirt. Um, they look good together, but honestly, I probably won't be wearing them together. I literally picked this up for the mixing and matching. So I really like the skirt and the fact that it's longer, like this with a bodysuit or this with a crop top is gonna look so cute. And it's a little longer than most mini skirts I own. Um, and it's stretchy and comfy. So I know I won't be, you know, again, adjusting myself. I could probably wear my little slip shorts under this if I needed to and it won't show because it's so short. So really great option if you wanna do like a fun outfit while still being comfy. So you got the hot pink, but it's sweat. So this came with a boxy long sleeve crop top. So this, if you're mixing and matching, you could definitely pair with jeans, um, a wide leg, black pant, leggings, whatever you want. This could even go over the workout set. Like if you're leaving the gym, it's kind of cool out, but you also don't want things like really touching you. A crop sweater is the perfect thing for that. Also would really compliment that workout set I got. Finally, I saw this like gown and I was like, if I'm going like mildly Taylor Swift, let's just go all the way enchanted. So for eras girlies, this is speak now. This is literally like a prom dress, but like lots of tulle, lots of sparkles. I got another haul and that stuff is covered with sparkles and some of that stuff doesn't work and I have to return it. So I'm going to have to like lint roll before I bring it back. So we got a full on maxi dress. There is a lining in here. That lining, I wouldn't say see-through, but it is very thin because I had black underwear on and I could see it. So if you're going to, you know, go the full gown experience, just nude or light underwear, you'll be fine. And then it has the layer of purple sparkly tulle over it. I could not stop doing this like the Speak Now album cover. Um, but you're going to feel like a princess in this. Um, again, where am I going? Maybe a cruise. But if you really want to go there for the Eras tour, this is a great option. So there's a half zip on the back. The back is going to be all the way open. That was my only thing. I did feel like pretty okay boob wise. Um, I <laughs> like I said with the black dress, I'm like, oh, easy to zipper. I could not get this done. I was not dexterous enough to do it. I'm sure if I maybe shuffled it forward, zipped, shuffled it back, you know, something could happen there, but I was dying of sweat at that point. Um, but there is an open back with like two crisscrosses here. Also, these confuse me so much. I had to pull up the picture to be like, where do I put my head? Um, but I think that's just my brain deteriorating, but super cute once it was on. Who knows? Maybe if I had someone to zip me up, it would have been even better. My brother is here, but he was literally on a work call and I'm like, I cannot be strutting in there with a dress hanging off me going like, hey guys, how's pharmaceuticals going? Like, and then have him zip me up. That's just degrading. So yeah, I didn't zip it all the way up, but I felt pretty held in and covered even with it being kind of like half on. And there's so much surface area on this boob part. So depending on how like tight you make it, these are adjustable back here. Like you can really be held in. I don't know how I feel about having like my back open with just the crisscrosses, um, but it wasn't so bad. I am, um, I love wearing a bra. I will pretty much always wear a bra, um, but you could get away with not wearing a bra with this for a night. Okay, that was everything. I am only mildly sweaty. <laughs> Someone's watching this going like, please towel off. Um, but I have like six more hauls to film. I have been MIA. Um, if I'm not working, I'm like face down right here. So there's only two kinds of Shannons right now. Um, so I'm trying to get back. I was gonna say, I took an Adderall today, so we're, we're filming. <laughs> but I am back. This made me so excited. Like, you should have seen me trying these on. I was squealing like a pig while sweating like one, but so happy with these fun, loud outfits. My next haul will be me in all basic blacks, but like, you gotta have balance. I love that I can have colorful, fun, sparkly things, and then, you know, sweatpants. So let me know what your favorite item was. And also let me know if you guessed the Taylor Swift eras right. Also let me know if I should bring, I'm gonna bring the gold fringe dress to camp, but I'm really between the feather or the fringe. I don't know. The theme is thrifted red carpet glam. But like, as we know, as you know, plus size women, there's not, it's slim pickings at a thrift store for us, period. Um, and I feel like that it doesn't need to be thrifted. You know, me thrifting is going in my costume closet. That is me thrifting. Um, so I feel like between the feathers or the sparkly, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna be red carpet glam and I'll probably just switch outfits halfway through the night so who knows maybe I'll win best dressed again so we'll see but let me know what your favorite item was I'm so smiley because I truly love everything in this haul 10 out of 10 except for some of those smile crutch things but now I know that's probably more so of a me problem um but yeah I'm back We'll see how long it takes me to edit these, but I am back. So thank you so much. If you have waited the two months that I haven't posted and you're here, I really appreciate you. As we know, I got a lot going on. So thank you so much for being here. And I have lots of videos coming up. Just wait. <laughs>